below YouTube. This channel is Dr. Vibes, a learning point. So in today's video, we will learn about the differences between a physiologic giant cell and a pathological giant cell. Now before starting this video, let me tell you what a giant cell is. Giant means large, so giant cells are large cells. And as they are large cells, they will have more nucleus, so they, are, so they will be multinucleate. These are the some of the features. Now let's see what are the differences between the two. The first point of difference is their causes. Why are they formed? So physiological giant cells are the normal cells in the body. Whereas pathological giant cells will have some underlying cause of formation. Normally they are not present in the body. So what is the cause of formation? That can be some neoplastic cause or some inflammatory cause in the body. Due to which pathological giant cells are formed. Now, the second point of difference is the nucleus. As I've already mentioned, physiological giant cells will have multinucleate structure. And pathological giant cells, as they have some pathology, they will have either one nucleus or multinucleate. Okay, now come to what is the role in their body. What will they tell us? Physiological giant cells have normal roles in the body. As they are present, they will have some function. For example, the Kupfer cells in your liver will act as the macrophages of liver. Then there are osteoclasts, which are the bone destroying cells. But pathological giant cells will have some underlying cause, means they, they can help you in diagnosis. For example, if Langhans giant cells are present, then they tell you that there is a granuloma formation in case of tuberculosis. But if there is a reed Sternberg kind of giant cell, that means they tell you there is Hodgkin's lymphoma condition in the body. So they are telling us about the underlying cause. See, reed Sternberg giant cell. reed Sternberg giant cell. Then this will tell you that there can be Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. Now, the fourth cell or the fourth point of difference between physiological and pathological giant cell are the examples. Osteoclast, megakaryocyte, and Kupfer cells. These are physiologic giant cells and Tewton giant cell, tumor giant cell, and already discussed Reed Sternberg and Langhans giant cells are the pathological giant cells. That is categorization. So the physiological giant cells are not categorized, but the pathological giant cells are categorized into fission and fusion kind of giant cells. So this was all about the differences between the two. There are five differences which should be memorized.